a very good morning class 12th the agenda for today's class is that we'll be talking about nucleophilic addition reactions and it would be done as a comparative study now when i'm talking about comparative study i would be taking into account aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids that's number one secondly what do you mean by a nucleophile a nucleophile is represented like this which means it is electron rich which also means it is looking for a positively charged center and in organic chemistry we are talking about a positively charged carbon that is a carbon which is electron deficient now an addition reaction is only possible whenever there is a double bond so we have to look for a double bond where carbon is positively charged so generally this nucleophilic addition reaction is a property of the compounds which have this kind of unit which is called as your carbonyl compounds the speciality of these compounds is that the weak pi bond is shifts towards the oxygen oxygen being more electronegative causes the electrons to shift towards oxygen therefore leads carbon to give you a positive charge and oxygen therefore gets a negative charge now comes your nucleophile now where do you think would the nucleophile attack this nucleophile which is looking for electron which nucleophile which is looking for the nucleus will go and attack towards the positively charged carbon hence leading to a carbon with a o minus and attaches to the nucleophile so during the addition reaction this is what happens so if you carefully have a look your carbonyl carbon initially was an sp2 carbon because of the presence of a pi bond and when a nucleophile attacks onto it due to the presence of this pi bond and this carbon gets a positive charge your nucleophile goes and attacks onto the carbon leading to a unit which would look like this hence your carbon changes from sp2 to sp3 which means your angle goes from 120 209.5 your geometry goes from triangular planar a planar two dimensional geometry goes to tetrahedral three dimensional geometry this portion should be very clear whenever we have a nucleophilic addition reaction on to a carbonyl compound this is the stereochemical aspect which happens the change in hybridization the geometries and the bond angles do change for the carbonyl carbon now i would be starting with the comparative study of the reaction the compounds for which i would be comparing the reactivity are formaldehyde formaldehyde is methanol any aldehyde means you have an r group any ketone means it has two r groups and a carboxylic acid which is this is that fine i hope the structural formula you do not have a problem with that in case you do please watch my video on iupsc nomenclature for aldehydes and ketones and carboxylic acid that would make things clearer to you now have a look in all of them you have a carbon which is double bonded to oxygen so oxygen will pull the electron cloud of the pi electrons towards itself because pi electron cloud is loosely held so all the carbons will become positively charged that is they would become electron deficient in all the compounds mentioned right here which means all of them can attract the nucleophile nucleophile is a positively charged seeking center means it is looking for a positively charged unit and you have a positively charged carbonyl carbon in all of them so your nucleophile can attack all of them but here we are going to compare the reactivity as to where will the nucleophile be attacking the fastest so coming to one of them here if you have a look at this one the carbon is positively charged and there are no donor groups while in this case the carbon is positive but r group has a plus i effect so it gives the electron density to carbon hence the positive charge decreases so electron deficiency of carbon is somewhat satisfied by this r group so 
here the positive charge is less as compared to this this is highly positive because there are no donor atoms coming to the ketone ketone has got two r groups which have got a plus i effect you have two donor groups attached to this particular carbon so the positive charge of carbon is considerably reduced because of the plus i effect of two r groups as compared to aldehyde here the positive charge is all the more less so if i compare these three compounds you should understand the positive charge on carbon would be maximum in this because it is not getting any electrons from hydrogen here it is slightly less because of 1r group here the positive is least because of 2r groups so if i compare these three compounds my conclusion would be the attack here will be fastest and the attack here would be slow in fact slowest on top of it this you can say the attack is moderate now other than the plus i effect that was one reason which i did was the plus i effect of the r groups attached there is another reason to it the other reason is the presence of r groups also creates a bulk which causes steric hindrance so the presence of r groups does not allow the nucleophile to easily attack so the second factor responsible is your steric hindrance faced by the nucleophile to approach the carbonyl carbon so on the basis of these two factors i hope it is clear that your formaldehyde is most reactive than any other aldehyde which is more reactive than any ketone as far as your nucleophilic addition reaction is concerned and the reason for these are you will take into account both the inductive effect as well as the steric hindrance effect moving on to the fourth compound the fourth compound is a carboxylic acid have a closer look this carbon is positive but it is attached to an r group which acts as a donor due to plus i effect but the major effect is the presence of the second oxygen which has lone pairs so the positive carbon gets the lone pairs from here hence the resonating structure of this particular carboxylic acid would be like this you get a double bond here and oxygen gets a positive charge so what happened the positive charge on carbon is no more there due to the resonance with the lone pair of the oh identity attached to the positively charged carbon this does not lead to any positive charge left on carbon therefore the nucleophile will never approach a carboxylic acid hence the conclusion is carboxylic acids do not undergo nucleophilic addition reactions and the reason is your carbon does not become electron deficient and the reason key reason for this would be due to lone pair of oh which are donated via resonance to the positively charged carbon of c double bond o i hope you are clear on it carboxylic acids do not undergo nucleophilic addition reaction is a commonly asked reasoning question in your boards as well as in your exams of schools so you should know that despite having a c double bond o a nucleophile is never able to approach it because the positive on carbon is nullified by the lone pairs of this oh hence there is no electron deficiency on this carbon despite having a c double bond o this will never undergo a nucleophilic addition reaction am i clear on that so what we can say is when we talk about nucleophilic addition reaction the most reactive is always formaldehyde then any other aldehyde which has an r group then you have a ketone and the least will be your carboxylic acid is that fine with this i close my class 
I hope you have understood the concept of nucleophilic addition reaction onto carbonyl compounds and you have understood the comparative study. These are the two key reasons when you talk about the reaction with aldehydes and ketones and your key reason when we talk about carboxylic acid is that the lone pair is donated onto the positively charged carbon by resonance and as you very well know resonance effect is much more predominant. Hope you have understood the concept. Do well in life. Bless you all. Please keep subscribing, sharing and liking my videos. Try to share them with other students groups to promote my channel. Thanks a ton. Do well in life. Bye.